Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be looking at how basically we can generate random numbers inside JavaScript between any two numbers. So we will be looking at two methods out there which is used to generate these random numbers which is called as random math.random method which is available inside the math module which is there inside JavaScript and we will also be looking at the second method which is able to round off that integer. So we will be looking at math.random and the second one is floor, floor method which is also there you know, basically inside this math class. So both these methods are available inside the math module inside JavaScript. So first of all let me show you a very basic example how we can generate the random number. So let's suppose we need to generate uh, a random number. So we will use this uh, method guys which is there inside the math module math.random and basically we will invoke this method here and here you will simply pass the uh, basically this returns the random number between 0 and 1 so basically it generates a random number between 0 and 1 so if you just console log this on uh, in the browser what will return here so every time if you refresh the browser it will return a random number between 0 and 1 you will see it will be in decimal points 0 0.8 again if you refresh it the number will change 0 0.6 again if you refresh the number one will change here so if you want to just uh, round off this number guys because this is not a very pretty site you need to round off these numbers so now to rounding off guys we have this uh, method which is there inside another method we will say so we just need to wrap this method here wrap this call so we will simply say math dot floor this is a method i am talking about so basically it takes the numeric uh, expression guys so whatever number that you need to uh, just round off so basically you can see that so now we just need to surround this expression like this math dot floor and it will actually take this number which will be in decimal points here 0 0.66 0 0.77 so it will automatically uh, round off and now if you open this with live server go to the console here you will find out 0 will be there you can see again 0 will be there so basically it is uh, generating a random number between 0 and 1 and, and basically it is <laughs> uh, rounding it so that's why you will not see a difference so now basically we need to multiply it by let's suppose 2 so what it will do guys basically it will now generate a random number between 0 and 2 every time and now basically it will also round off using math.floor so if you now refresh it you will see that let me uh, just see the expression here math dot okay okay so you can even take a long, longer range as well let's suppose I multiply it by 100 so what it will do guys basically it will generate a random number between 0 and 100 0 and 100 and if I now console log it if I check here inside you will see 74 is generated and you can see 82 is generated so instead of console logging it I can simply write it in the console so we can simply say here result and instead of this we can simply say document dot get element by id result and we can simply attach inner html the random number is and then we can attach this number here which is random so if you just refresh it guys basically you will now see random number is 22 if you again refresh it you can see that every time if you refresh the page it is ref uh, basically it is generating a random number for you so this is the way by which you can generate random numbers very simple way and let's suppose we can see in, uh, even add a button here so whenever we click this click to generate random number so whenever we click this button automatically a function will execute which is on click we will say get random number so this function will execute guys and basically we can wrap all this code inside this function so we will simply make this function get random number and basically we can make this function here and uh, we can simply copy these two lines of code here and simply paste it here so simply paste it and now what will happen here you will see so every time you click this button 
a random number is generated so very simple enough you can see that so by the help of these two methods guys you can now generate any random number in between any two number ranges so here you can see we can't provide the number the two numbers in which we need to generate the random number so here it is just assuming that you need to uh, generate the random number between 0 and 100 so let's suppose we provide the values so let's suppose we have input field out there we have to allow the user to enter a number here so we will simply say number it should is required here so we will ask the user here to enter the number so there will be an input field out there and the default value will be 50 sorry value will be default value will be 50 so basically guys uh, if you see now we only need to generate the number that is specified here in between 0 and 50 so what we need to do is that basically we can simply get the value which the user has entered we can simply say document dot get element by id number and we will get the value dot value like this and now we simply need to replace this value dynamically here instead of 100 we will pass this dynamic value which is number so what it will do guys basically now it will only generate random numbers in between 50 0 to 50 here and let's suppose i decrease this value to 42 now you can see it will only generate random numbers between 42 and 0 and let's suppose I declare it to 5 here you can see that you can see that it is perfectly working here you can see that guys this application and let's suppose if you want to also say uh, we, we also need to provide the two numbers in between two numbers we need to generate random number let's suppose we can have a custom scenario let's suppose we want to generate a random number between 10 and 20 only 10 and 20 in that case we need to have two input fields out there in which we can also specify the second number so here we can simply say first number and next we will have the next input field here input type number and we will be giving the id to it of second number and the default value let's suppose we have 50 200 and uh, this is also required so for that guys the function will slightly change we will use the same method once again but the logic which will change here so this time we will be uh, just be slightly doing it differently we will again make this method get random number and basically inside this we will first of all get the minimum number which is the first number and we will get the value which the user has entered and then we will get the max min max so here we will get the second number which the user has written we will get the value like this so now slightly we will do like this we will attach this number we will get the random number like this which is we will again use math.floor and after this guys inside this parentheses we will again use math.random and inside this we will multiply this value by uh, this logic so it's slightly math math logic you need to uh, multiply it by inside parentheses max minus min plus one this is the logic and uh, after this you need to plus minimum that's it so this is a logic guys basically now you can print out i don't know this logic so you need to understand the math here for that so now you can attach this number to the result so we can simply say inner html property you can simply say the random number is the random number between uh, bin and uh, max is this is a random number you can see that so you will print out if i see here the random num number between 50 and 100 is 3750 uh, i think it's a wrong value let's suppose let me see Uh, let me see guys uh, I think I made a mistake here so 
so now let me see let me decrease this value here 5 and uh, 10 so 5 and 10 is the random number between 5 and 10 so let me see I got this example from w3schools.com so So basically let me copy this example once again so it is using the same method guys which we are using in the previous example so you can see we are basically here you can give the range here let's suppose I give here 5 comma 10 so now hopefully it will generate 5 if you click this button it will only generate random numbers between 5 and 10 you can see every time it generates a random number between 5 and 10 so let me explain you the code here basically we have got a button here whenever you click this button it executes this function which is get round integer and here you pass your minimum and maximum value in between you want to generate the random value so 5 comma 10 and inside this function we are getting these two values are out there and then we are simply returning this value math.floor math.random multiply max minus min plus min this is the value we are returning so let's suppose if you want to change customize this 485 and uh, the max value let me give this max value be um, 480 490 so 485 comma 490 in between these we need to generate random numbers you can see that only it is automatically generating these random numbers guys in between the specific range that we provided so in this case guys you can generate random numbers inside javascript this is very useful to make uh, gaming kind of applications inside javascript where we do need to require some kind of random logic or random numbers for our game logic so this is very useful math.random function so thanks very much guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video